In today's video I am going to show you how to use the camera settings, you can use these settings either in your single player world or if you are an admin on a server. And from this tutorial you can record cool clips such as these. For the camera settings there are multiple options. In order to go into the camera settings you would need to either press shift F1 which will go into orbiting, shift F2 will go into tracking, shift F3 will go into locking, shift F4 will go into focusing, shift F5 will go into smoothing, shift F6 goes into the building and shift F7 goes into spectating and we are going to tell you what each of them does. When you are in F1 and you press shift F whatever that you're going to be using, next to your FES and to your ping, you will be able to see what you have enabled. So currently what we do have is shift F1, which is orbiting. So basically what orbiting is, is that you can move your camera around. You can also use Q to ascend and E to descend. Something else that you can do when you're into your camera settings is you can press control and you can use the mouse wheel to either zoom in or zoom out. This is also used for, for example, when you're doing thumbnails or we just want to zoom in a lot to your character for screenshots. In order to also make the camera movement faster, you can just use the scroll wheel. If you move the scroll wheel up, then it will go faster. If you move the scroll wheel down, it will go much slower. When you're orbiting, you will not be able to move your character, but you can still punch and if you, for example, have a gun, you can still shoot. Next, let's go over to Shift F2, which is tracking. So basically what tracking is, after you have found yourself a good location in F1, in orbiting, you can just switch to tracking and basically whatever you move with your character, the camera will move it to you. You'll not be able to move the camera over here though, but whatever you do with your character, the camera will keep following you. Next, let's go over to Shift F3, which is locking. So what locking is, is that the camera is just stuck on the one place that you have set it to in your F1 and you can move your character to however you would like. The character will move, but the camera will not move. And now let's go over to Shift F4, which is focusing. What focusing is, is that the camera will also move, but you still have no control. This does depend on where your character is moving, so you can create shots like this. The camera will stay in the same place, but it will rotate around. If the character is running towards you, the camera will just do that kind of movement. Next, let's go over to Shift F5. So basically what Shift F5 is, is you would have to press it first, so make sure to press Shift F5 and then go into Shift F1. What this does is that the camera movement is much smoother. There's not going to be any bumps or any of that when you're moving your camera. It is much more smoother and makes some really nicer shots. I really really do use this for example when I'm recording myself an intro for one of my videos and it does make it look 10 times better. There's no certain bumps like you can do for example when you're using Shift F1 and you don't have smoothing on and you can just do like this on smoothing, you cannot do it. It's just much, much smoother. Next, let's go over to the building menu. So the building menu is Shift F6. Now what this does is basically you would be able to move buildables and you would be able to rotate them. So what you can do, for example, is you can just click on a buildable. Over here, as you may see, there are colorful arrows and each of them depends on where you can move it. The green one is for going down, the blue one is going towards you and the red one is go moving it sideways. Also, something else that you can do is if you press yourself W, you would be able to rotate them. So you can always do this kind of stuff. You can just rotate your buildables to whichever direction you would like. And then if you want to go back to moving the item, just press Q. If you would like to move a lot of the items at the same time, what you can do is you can just go into F1, press Shift F6, and you can just do this, and you would be able to move everything at the same time. If you would like to select specific items, so for example, you want to select the pillar and the roof, you can just click on them and press Shift, and you would be able to just move those two items. You can just do them however you please. If you would like to, again, just move everything, you can just press W to rotate, and you can rotate everything that you would like. And finally, we have Shift F7, which is legit wall hacks. Now, this is usually more used when it comes to multiplayer servers. Basically, what this does is that if you're on a server and you do press Shift F7 and you open the map, you can see where every single player on the map is. You would be able to see player names, so for example, right now, the only player on is me, but if you press Shift F7, and I'm going to unpress it right now, you can see my name, and you can see where I am from wherever you are on the map, 
And that's basically all of the camera settings. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below or join the Discord and us over there, which will be linked in the description below. And thank you so much for watching.